hello and welcome back to my channel i actually am drinking wine today so this is going to be exciting um today's video is about what i'm always getting asked about it's lesbian and gay people and how to date first of all i do want to say all of my dating advice works for everybody i have literally clients from all over the world and it'd be impossible for me to cover six inhabitable continents without having lesbian gay trans people disabled people people who are struggling with sickness and or illness and disease like even they have has immense success with me and i'm very very proud of that um because i really do believe that it's all possible you know and um and I do believe that it does start with confidence. No matter what people are trying to push or what agenda they're trying to push online, I know because I've done the work, I've been doing this for almost three years now, and um, it's definitely been successful because I make sure that we're all successful. But today, we're going to talk about the lesbians and the gay boys. And I'm really excited about this because... I always get asked about this, like, am I familiar with working with uh, lesbian and gay women and um, gay women and men? And I think it's so funny because I'm like, <laughs> do you see these looks? You see this charm? You think I can get away? You think I can pull a few gay men? You think I can pull a few women? You think? You think I can? You think I can do that? I'm offended, for real. I'm offended, for real. So, I was like, I was, oh, my ring fell off. Y'all know I always got these problems with these daggone rings. But, um, yes. So, my rules, they do a, differ a little bit for my lesbian clientele and my gay clientele. Because what I notice is with men, especially with gay men that are like very mass uh, presenting, like my friends who just dress well, like they don't really dress feminine. They don't dress, I don't feel like they dress super masculine either. They just kind of just dress well, you know, and um, they also just relaxed in how they are and really, you know, introverted or like just they're just confident like they have this like business vibe about them which is very sexy and even though they're gay men a lot of women are attracted to them because they don't know that they're gay <laughs> and they're so attractive and they dress well and everything so uh actually when we when i go out with them like people usually assume that they're my boyfriend and that's just because how they carry themselves. We're all like type A personality people. And we're always, you know, f fixing ourselves, making sure that we're on point and everything like that. So a lot of people don't pick up that they're gay. So uh, for women too, it's like, you know, you go out, you're dressing cute or you're dressing however. If you're not super mass pre presenting or like... Um, yeah, basically, if you're not super mass presenting and you're just, like, a girl who's very feminine and everything, of course nobody's going to assume that you're gay because we're the last people that people assume that we may be interested in the same sex because all straight men think that everybody loves dick, right? So my thing for you people who are not super mass or, uh, yeah, or mass or femme for the boys and the girls is, like, I, I think you should shoot your shot first. Especially, even if you don't, um, even if you don't come off and, you don't have to come off and be, like, super, like, over the top, like, yeah, I want to, I, I would love to grab that ass, that's a great ass, but you can just compliment them, you know? And, um, you can compliment them and let them know, like, oh, I really like that dress on you. Or, that dress looks great on your body. I just wanted to let you know. That's for the women, of course. And then for the, like, for the mass-presenting gay men, it's always good to, like, start out with a compliment. Like, oh, wow, you, you're looking great in those shorts, you know? Just something... 
very small to kind of guide it because after that they may be a, a little more open to it and then after that you don't want to cross a line or anything where it feels awkward but you definitely want to give them a compliment if you feel like they don't know that you are gay you know like um like uh if that doesn't work and they're still like oh yeah because I have friends that are totally oblivious like that like I, one of my best friends, she's always getting hit on by gay women. She never fucking knows it until it's too late. And we always have to tell her, oh, shoot. We always got to tell her, like, um, dude, she has a crush on you. Like, she, she just thinks that everybody's just so nice because she's so nice. So she never knows until, like, the last minute. So if it gets to that point where you feel like somebody's not picking up on a hint, so just be like, um, so, like are you busy this weekend or you know how would you feel about us hanging out maybe going out to dinner or something and if they're like whoa whoa no no I'm not like that or whatever then you'd be like oh okay I wasn't sh I wasn't sure and I'm so sorry I was just asking and you know just take it from there and be like but I still think you're very attractive no problem no issue here I wasn't even trying to go there with you and let them go on about their business but I think if you are somebody who's hard to read, then you definitely should shoot your shot first sometimes, especially if you feel like they're checking you out too. Um, also on the apps, for gay, for gay men and lesbian women on the apps, um, I feel like this is more of a problem with gay men. Now, if guys are trying to hook up with you and everything, um, just let them know, like, no, I'm not going to go out with you unless you plan something. If you plan something nice, then I would love to hang out with you. But if you're if you're not up to doing something like that, no, I'm not interested in sleeping with you, and I don't know you. I'm sorry, that's just not the type of person I am. And it's just, it doesn't do anything for me. Just be straight up like that, because they all they can do is respect it, and either they're going to be upset and not text back, or they're going to hit you back and be like, you know what, you're right. So did you want to go out for drinks or maybe hit a bowling alley or we can go out for dinner and then hit the bowling alley or something like that? I know this works because I help some of my gay friends, so I know, <laughs> with their dating life. So uh, I know. And also, like, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries for both the gay men and lesbian women. Boundaries is where, like where you will find success because I feel like also with my gay women we're all natural like nurturers and we're giving and you know we go off we go off of things feeling good and feeling right but all the time things could be feeling great like between you two and think you can have things in common and that person could just be looking for sex and easy sex and a person to hang out with and you don't want to be that right so it's really good to set up those boundaries also for that person to ask you out on a date. Make sure they're asking you out on a date. Do not, women, my ladies, do not let somebody talk you up for weeks and for months without taking you out on a date just because it's a girl. Please don't do that because I see that happen so, happening so, so often. Let them know straight up, look, I'm not interested in having a pen pal. If you're not trying to plan anything, you don't want to go out anywhere, you don't want to do anything, uh, okay, you can have this conversation with somebody else. Thank you for your time. It was nice meeting you, but I'm not interested in that, okay? And same thing. They will either come back and come back with you, come back at you like, like, oh, shoot, okay, when did you want to go out? Where did you want to go out or whatever? Or they will just fall back because they weren't planning on taking it seriously. Um, and the thing is with a lot of girls, I feel like a lot of girls BS around because they are a little bit shy. At least what I've experienced with my clients and the gay women that I know, they're usually a little bit more shy about going out on dates and meeting and they like to require a lot of time of talking to you and everything like that. Just let them know. Look, it would be easier if we got to know each other in person and did something together in person because right now we're just talking a lot and, like, I don't even know who I'm talking to. So, um, it's always good to set those boundaries. It's always, always good. And, you know, even I, I, I 
I love to flirt with women and everything that come on to me because it happens to me, I won't say all the time. I feel like gay men come on to me more than gay women, honestly. Gay men love me. But um, gay women, if they do bite, shoot, I don't mind flirting with them. It's very easy being up front with them. Um, the last encounter that I had with a gay woman, I literally thought she was so cute, right? And I knew she was checking me out. But I also knew that her co-worker, because she was at a bar, she was a bartender. I also knew that her co-worker was just not feeling that she was checking me out. Like, it was pissing her off or whatever. So I definitely flirted with her and got her number and wanted to hang out and everything. Um, that didn't go anywhere because my car got declined at the bar because I forgot to cash out myself for my fun card. And she thought I was a broke, a broke bitch. So, shit. <laughs> It didn't go anywhere, but it's okay. It's okay because I still won. I still won, but yeah, like I don't mind it, and it's very easy. It's very easy just being up front, and I simply let her know. I was like, oh, so 5 isn't around anymore, you know? So what are you doing after work? This is all you do, just work or whatever? <laughs> what do you like to do outside of work, you know? And just fluid conversation, you know, and she was very charmed by it. And I think it could work for all of you guys. Just very fluid, natural conversation. None of that trying too hard. None of that. You don't want to try too hard or be going too much out there because you might scare them away. And then the thing is, some girls may be interested that don't even identify as gay. So you definitely don't want to come on too too hard and scare them all so that is my video for gay women and uh gay men and i hope you guys picked up something you can always comment below or you can tell me your experiences on my instagram at actual black mermaid or my twitter at imani underscore yvonne too and i can't wait to talk to you guys because i love y'all so i'll talk to you soon bye